Hi guys, so this is my first video of a series of tutorials that teach you how to use LaTeX and it is also the last video that I am filming. Um, what I'd like to go over in this video is why should you bother using LaTeX? Well first and foremost, it is free. Uh, if you wanted to get, if you wanted to write a report or something like that, you're going to have to use Microsoft Word, Pages, OpenOffice, those are the traditional tools that you use, but there are well, at least Word and Pages uh, cost money. Open Office is free, um, but it can definitely having something that's really powerful that is free. It's awesome. As well, I mentioned that it's powerful. Uh, in LaTeX, you can really control the formatting and the style of the way you prepare your document, just the way you want it to. Sometimes I find Word, I've written a lot of reports in Word, and I find Word can be really frustrating where sometimes you have a page break that's really hard to delete. Uh, you know, like, or little bugs where you kind of go, I didn't put that there, but it's there anyways. So LaTeX is powerful, it allows you to be consistent, and it's easy to use in that sense. I also find that it's faster than Word. Uh, this particular computer I'm on is very powerful, but when I was in university, uh, I only had a laptop, and when you're using the latest version of Word and you're putting together a 90-page report, when you start scrolling through the report and trying to, you know, you want to edit page 50 or whatever, it could really slow down when you start to scroll. And uh, in LaTeX, I don't have that problem. You know, you could be rendering movies in the background, recording movies in the foreground, like I am right now, and scroll through your report, and it doesn't even flinch. So... It, it's it's a really light program and so moves really fast on your computer. Something else that's important is that it's multi-platform. Obviously you can tell that I'm on a Mac and sure there's Microsoft Word for Mac but when you import a Microsoft Word document from a Mac using Microsoft Word onto the PC version of Microsoft Word sometimes you have formatting issues. Now I don't understand how one company who produces one product can have such a problem between you know the same product line but this is a problem or let's say if you have the standard uh, pages and you open up your pages and you want to shoot it over to somebody with Microsoft Word I don't know why I open this um, you're gonna have compatibility issues same with open office so with LaTeX it doesn't matter if you're on Linux Mac or PC it's going to work and the code is going to be the same and what you're going to generate is a PDF that's going to look the same regardless of platform it's also great for working on projects so I've worked on a few projects where uh, you're in a group of four let's say and you're putting together an 80 page report in the end uh, working on the same word document takes forever uh, working on something like Google Docs requires you to then import it into something like Word uh, so that you could get proper formatting and printing, at least today you need to. What LaTeX allows you to do, although I don't cover it in this video, is that let's say I wrote the introduction, uh, my friend put together Tobias's lifestyle here, and another one generated uh, the back matter words here you can write this section save it as an individual file and then have a master file stitch all those subsections together and then the formatting is written there so it allows you to work on a project with a team uh, where different people can work on different sections easily and this is great for school in this set of videos that i've put together these tutorials uh, I'm, I hope to put together a faster introduction to report writing. It's over an hour long in total, uh, but and I assume you know certain things like to put a slash before a command and to use curly brackets to specify what that command is going to do. Uh, so I assume you have some basic knowledge about how to use LaTeX, or let's say uh, how to write an exponent, or how to write math into a computer. I, I hope you already have that kind of knowledge and then you start watching these videos to learn quickly how to get the entire report together. Um, if it's too much for you or if you don't like it, other resources you could use and I strongly recommend is first and foremost Google. You have a problem. Let's say you go, uh, how do I get white space between these two lines here, this vspace uh, command. You just type in white space report LaTeX and it's right there. The community is big, you'll find Stack Exchange is really helpful for answering such questions. And if you still want some other videos and you don't like these ones, I strongly recommend uh, Michelle Crummel here on YouTube. Uh, I used her videos, she has eight tutorials, 
and uh, I watch these videos when learning how to use LaTeX. They're great. Um, they cover different topics than what this set of tutorials covers. This set of tutorials covers more uh, report writing, whereas hers is more like how to use LaTeX to write math and things like that. So definitely check her out. She put together some really nice tutorials, and I hope you enjoy what you see. Have fun.